Word. All right, hi everyone. This is Gilberto from Maverick Media Lab and I'm here with Corey Allen from the Bank of Texas. He's one of our amazing clients and he's gonna be talking about his honest feedback about our realtor referral program and helping him get more realtor referral partners. Corey, thanks so much for joining us here, man. I really appreciate you. You bet, glad to be here. Awesome. And to start off, can you just give the audience for whoever's going to be watching this a little introduction, a little uh, about yourself and who you are? Sure. I'm a mortgage banker in the Dallas, Texas area. I've been in the mortgage business originating here for 19 years. Uh, I, I do a little bit of everything from, uh, you know, refi loans to purchase business with FHA, VA, a little bit of everything, uh, you know, and, I, and I'm looking to grow that as the market has turned. I'm looking to focus more on the purchase business and kind of get back to the basics. And, and I felt using this service after recommendations from several other people, I thought this was a, a good route to go. Love it. And can you talk a little bit about like what was what were some of the issues or I guess like bottlenecks when it came to getting more realtor partners? Like what was, what do you feel was holding you back from growing your realtor base and, you know, getting more, you know, referral partners to work with you? Well, I, I think having the discipline to do the follow-up because it comes pretty, pretty fast and the funnel kind of opens up once they start setting the appointments and, being disciplined and call blocking and, and trying to do that it was the trick for me uh, that, that I, I wish I would have done better on. And I know I could have had better results had I done maybe more follow-up because the, the appointments are there and the realtors have been very open and uh, open to partnerships and open to uh, conversations and just getting in front of it more and more is, is on a regular basis is, is where I need to focus my time. Yeah. And I know prior to where, to our call you mentioned like prior to working with us like you know getting more and working with more realtors was something that really you didn't dedicate too much time and effort to was this something like a new avenue for you like were you kind of in a situation where you were already like receiving leads from like your company or like you know maybe you had like a direct to consumer channel like what was that like that made you want to you know start <clears throat> approaching more realtors and, and forming those partnerships well, it, the writing became on the wall as, as the market shifted, rates have gone higher, uh, the refi business has dried up. I knew I had to to grow my business, you know, the old fashioned way. And no matter how uh, electronic and, and everything, Zillow and all the other things, still there's a, a realtor involved in in. The majority of the transactions. So having that conduit and that uh, regular focus uh, and some, you know, uh, process to get in front of more and more realtors was something that I didn't know how to do, and I needed help in in determining that and figuring out what the most efficient process was going to be. And, and I, I have been very impressed with the the number of uh, people I'm getting in front of and uh, from all over the DFW area. And, and meeting people that are that are open to work with. Nice. And tell us a little bit about like the appointment quality or like the realtors that you've been talking to, because I know, you know, for some loan officers, some of the preconceptions that they might have is like, well, you know, realtors are already working with a lender. Like, why would a realtor want to talk to me? Um, so talk to us a little bit more about your experience and tell us about like the, the realtors that have been open to, to working with you and what they've told you as well. Well, I found all of them are, are open and, you know, some of them are, are the very old school and they'll say, you know, you bring me one, I'll bring you one kind of thing. But I'm very impressed with how many people are open to conversation. They, they, they want to have a few conversations with you, but they are producers. The people that I'm talking to are busy. They are producing uh, and they're looking for uh, new people to work with too. And, and a lot of them, you know, may have one or two referral partners that they've been using, they may have had a recent bad experience with someone because you know that happens in this business all the time. Yeah. So asking to be that backup for 
to just give me a chance, you know, is very well received. Were there, were there any specific things that they've told you, like, um, like maybe like a, a lender dropped the ball or was there any specifics that they've told you on like the reason why they took the call or why they were open uh, to potentially working with you? Yeah, some of them have always focused on communication. That seems to be the key. Yeah. And, and having a, you know, a good relationship with them and, you know, they're familiar with the process because of what they do, but they don't know the lending process and they don't want to be the expert. They want to have somebody that's going to be there and available to answer the questions. So it's going to pick up the phone and be responsive. And it, I had one this morning tell me, you don't have to call me as soon as I call you, but just let me know that you've received my texts and that you're going to be getting back to me that I'm important, that, that, we have a problem we need to work out and we'll talk and we'll, and we'll work it out. So, so, you know, being communicative and not avoiding their phone calls, but just uh, following up and letting them know, Hey, I'm on the phone right now or in a meeting, I'll call you back later today. Uh, communication seems to be the, the driver on, on most of those conversations like that. Yeah, that's so true. I found that with other clients as well that they mentioned when I ask that similar question, it's usually like the number one is like, it's always communication. It's usually like not rates or anything else. Like the, the biggest thing that realtors bring up is uh, communication, funny enough. So it seems like that's kind of like a big, a big gap in the market that a lot of loan officers aren't really filling up. Like they might not be giving their, their realtors like as much attention or maybe, you know, they might be doing what you just said, like not returning the calls or not being available. Um, and it prevents a lot of them from working, continuing to work with that loan officer and giving someone else a shot that will be able to do that. So that's interesting that you brought that up. I've seen that as a recurring pattern. Yeah, it seems to be the number one thing that they mentioned. Yeah. One of the things I was curious about, like, what do you, what have you found so valuable, like valuable so far? Like what's been your favorite part um, so far from working with us? Like what's the thing that's really stood out for you that's been the most valuable for you or, or helped you the most? Well, I don't have as call reluctance in making this call because of the experience that I've had. It's been easy, it's been open. It's not the same as dialing a list of numbers and just going over and over and over again. These people, it's a warm introduction. They they know a little bit about you. Some of them have looked you up on LinkedIn or Facebook or whatever, so they kind of understand you a little bit and they kind of they're expecting the call. So it makes it maybe brings down their their barriers a little bit to openly say, hey, I'm going to be relocating, you know, I need some help. <laughs> uh, maybe you can help me whenever I need a loan. Uh, I've, I've had two conversations like that out of the maybe 15 or so appointments that I've done. Love that. And <clears throat> one of the things that I also wanted to ask, because I know you mentioned that there are many options like disposable, like you mentioned Zillow leads and like, I'm sure like other direct to consumer stuff that I'm sure you, you get all the time, like in your inbox, probably get calls about it, a ton of marketing calls. So why choose to work with us? Cause I know you have, you have a lot of options. There's many other things that we could be doing. So what was it that kind of stood out about what we have to offer and made you decide to do, to say yes and, and start working with us? Well, I, I think the fact that it's, it's more direct. I am involved in it. And it's beyond just paying for something that's there and gone. You know what I mean? It's, it's an ongoing process. It's not just here's some numbers or a lead that may or may not have been interested. I think there just is more involvement on everyone. Myself, the realtor, you know, they have a little bit of vested interest. So they're intrigued. Okay, who is this guy that's calling and wanting to, to talk? Nice. Have you tried other stuff before in the past? Because I know for a lot of our clients, like they usually have done like Zillow leads, they've done other lead channels as well. Is that something yeah, that, that you did in the past? Yeah, I, I've tried the other and that was mixed results. You know, sometimes I'd partner with, with, with a realtor and the leads go through them. That didn't seem to work out. I've purchased leads before. 
that wasn't that successful. Yeah. Uh, so I, I just feel like me having some some involvement in it and kind of understanding the quality and and me having control of some of the good, bad, or otherwise, I'm in control of some of the success of this because of me being directly involved in in a big piece of it. Right. Taking the calls, being able to talk to the realtor directly, be able to present right. your what you the value that you offer directly to the yeah. to the realtor. They're just doing a lot of the legwork. So I'm able to enhance and make the most of it, but but the legwork's being done for you. So you're getting like like in a basketball terms, you're able to shoot a layup instead of shoot from the three point line. Somebody else has got you closer to the goal. I like that analogy. That's a good one. I might even have to use that now. Um, <laughs> another one that I was curious about, I always like to ask, usually at, at the end here, like if you were, so I know that before starting to work with us, you like talk to other, you know, other of our past clients, like you, you talk to some references. I think Linia was one of them, probably saw like other of our client interviews. Um, so you were in that situation before, like what would you say to yourself back then, like, you know, a couple months ago uh, about moving forward with this or to rephrase that, maybe even someone else who was in that, who's in that position now, like looking us up or seeing if this is legit, if this is actually going to work for them. Like, what would you say to that person or yourself a couple months ago when you were considering moving forward? I, I would say, you know, don't hesitate to do it. It works, but you got to, you know, you got to take ownership and, and be responsible for some of it. I, myself, probably should have done a better job in managing some of the follow-up and could have done more. Uh, but the, the appointments are there. They're fruitful. Uh, it's kind of like anything else in life. You get out of it what you put into it. I love that. That's one of the things that's really stood out to me about yours, like the level of ownership and like being able to like step in and really like do as, as much as possible um, to really get the maximum amount of results. Even your questions about the follow-up and like a lot of the stuff that you just mentioned, like I could really tell that you're very, very dedicated to seeing yeah. the result, which, well, which I need to, I need to take off. Yeah. I have another appointment I got to get to. I apologize, but no worries. Really yeah, we're at the end of that. We're at the end of the interview. Uh, awesome. Thanks. Corey. I'm sorry. I really appreciate you. You bet, man.